Hello, everybody, and welcome to my talk, Soft Skills for Software Testers. I'm Daniel Knott, and let's get right to the topic. Before we dive into the topic, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Daniel, Daniel Knott, working as the head of software testing for my one world in Germany. I'm a mobile tester by heart, and I wrote several books about the topic. If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter, or you can check out my blog, adventuresincreate.com. So what are the soft skills every software tester should have? I brought forth with you five skills today. First one, and I think the most obvious one that you all have in mind, is communication. It should be nothing new for you. However, I'd like to raise the topic again today. I think it's the most important skill, as I already said, but not only for testers, but for everyone who's working with different kinds of people within a team or across different locations. Especially we as testers must communicate with different stakeholders that maybe are spread across different locations. So we might need to talk to developers, to the product manager, to designers, to product marketing, or to product support people. And the important thing is that we have to make sure that our communication is clear and structured depending on the audience so that we can change our communication skills depending on to whom we are talking to. And in order to practice that, I would say it's important for you to talk in front of people, talk in, on your team level, give a presentation, go to meetups, and if you like to do, or give a conference talk. It will help you in order to communicate in a more structured and clear way. Second skill I brought today is to be organized and result driven. We all know that testers uh, usually test on various levels on the different platforms. So we test the front end in most cases. We have an API that we have to test. We have a back end, for example. And to be organized and on those like majority of topics and the, 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 the detail level of topics that we have to work on, it's important to be well, um, organized and have good workflow that helps us to not, not miss out important things. Therefore, it's important from my point of view to document as lean as possible. This might help also others to, to reflect on your work. Also yourself, you can reflect on your work. And it might also encourage others to document their work in a more, in a more um, transparent way that helps the whole team to be more organized and result -free. And it's also important um, to keep the common goal in mind. So for example, you work in an agile environment and you work like towards a two week sprint cycle. It's important to be really organized because then you have like a two week cycle. You have to be really organized and focused in order to reach the common goal of the team. What I highly recommend in order to get more in, in organized and do result driven is a training called getting things done. You can check out the link here. It's really helpful in order to organize your work. Let's get to the third skill, problem solving. We all know that when, while we're working with software testers, we usually identify bugs or issues, right? And we should collect them. We shouldn't blindly pass them over to the developer saying, hey, here's an issue, fix it. No, we should rather, first of all, do the first step. We should, oh, too fast. We should compare the findings against the product requirements and the user expectation, right? Is it really a bug or is it maybe a, a a mistake in the requirements. If something that we find out that is really an issue, we should try to find a solution, right? Or to at least an idea for the solution and provide this information to the developers. It will not only help the developers or the product managers to identify the issue faster, and it will also make the overall quality of the problem much more um, convenient and better. And therefore, I think problem solving, uh, so solving, problem solving skills help to fix a potential uh, issue faster. The next one, adaptability. Adaptability, what is it all about? As you all know, the tech industry is constantly changing with new requirements, with new frameworks, with new trends, technologies coming around the corner. Every once in a while, there's something new coming up that we have to keep up with. And also software testers have to, to keep up this pace, right? We need to make sure that uh, we keep up with the pace of the industry and the projects and always to learn new testing techniques, te testing skills based on the product or the technology use. So that's why it's important that we have to adapt to constantly adapt to the change around us. Therefore, it's important to improve our tech skills, as I already said. It's important maybe to learn a new framework, a new automation framework, or a new um, um, manual testing framework or that you can use in order to improve your skills. And it's important that you keep adaptable for new projects. It's always bad saying, nah, no, I don't know how to do it. It's rather like, okay, I want to learn it. I want to improve myself. And therefore, adaptability, I think it's more a really important soft skill for software testers. And one more thing to remind, never settle. Always keep up the learning, try to read books, try to read blogs, always to keep up with, the, with, with your surrounding. Um, the last soft skill I brought for you today is called Sixth Sense. So what is this all about? 
With Sixth Sense, I mean that um, software testers should use their skills from previous projects to look proactively at current projects and to improve things. So, for example, if you're like a really experienced software tester with, I don't know, many, many years of, of, of knowledge from the industry and you come to a new project and you see right away, oh, there's something that I had in the past that might cause issues on production later on. This is something you should bring to the project manager, to the product manager, to improve the overall quality of the product, right? So that's what meant with the sixth sense. It will help the team to overcome obstacles, right? That maybe come around to, uh, on the uh, corner um, when on production or being at a process or being a tool that you would like to introduce. Maybe you know the tool already and you should like, you should use your knowledge and the sixth sense that you have to actually make those things transparent. Yes, and use the broad knowledge to communicate as early as possible in the process on the project because it will help you to fix potential issues and to make them transparent for everyone. I think it's important and it's also satisfying for everyone in the project to be transparent like that. And therefore, I think the sixth sense is something that software testers should have. It might come over the time, but it's something you should keep in mind and always, always um, keep in mind when you bring ideas to a project. And last, yeah, what, what you can take from on this soft skill is that communication skills are key here as well. Because imagine you come into a new product or project with, with your experience and you bring up topics like, okay, this tool has some flaws here and there. Maybe nobody is trusting you because you're the new person in the team. But if you have like really good communication skills, you can you can sell it to the team and you could maybe the approval or you can you can make up the uh, the process even in a better way. That's it for the five skills today. Uh, of course, there's much more to learn and to improve. I, as I said, I highly recommend to read blogs, uh, books, uh, watch YouTube videos around topics and, and to improve yourself. And the most important thing is to never settle. Have a nice day and enjoy the conference. Bye-bye.